Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay, and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Gridmaster controllers after you've already created them. As you can see here, I have my original poses for my original master controller that I've already set up. I'm just going to make a simple change. Let's say I want to push out the profile head just a little bit, just to give it a little added depth throughout the rotation. And I'll just do that for all three poses from each profile view. And what's nice about working with the head like this is that I know that I've used the head group to create this master controller. So it's going to be really easy for me to remember to select the same group. And just like that, I can run the interpolated grid master controller script. Only this time, what I'm going to do is load my saved grid preset, Leif head rotate. And from here, we'll just give it a new name. Let's say head rotate update. And once we hit create, we can choose which composite we want to attach our master controller to. And once we save our script, and now we can test our freshly created master controller. I'm going to leave this window open before I close it, just to make sure that I'm happy with what I've just updated. Yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Some of the cheek hair kind of covers the mouth. I might want to go in there and fix that up before I close this window. But for the sake of this tutorial, I think it looks great. And I can save this grid preset as well, in case I want to go back and change it at a later date. And there you have it. Now you can actually delete the old master controller node, save your scene, save your TPL in the library, and start animating.